hey, this is Adam from Outlier. You might have seen me duck my head because I'm watching my TV too. I'm going to show you about first five baseball bets. First five being first five innings means that your bet can cash before the game's even over. How great is that? Now, I'm going to go right into the screen. We can talk about it. Boom. Okay. Biggest thing about a first five bet is that the cap is centered completely around the, the pitch, starting pitcher. Whether it's bullpen game, that kind of messes things up. I stay away from those. But uh, a pitcher who's your starter is going to be the cap because they're usually going to go five or six innings. So, um, all right. I have a bet that's live right here with two outs. So I'm trying to see if anything happens here. Um, okay. So first five innings. One of the things that I like to do is look at the, uh, I like to go a lot of the times with totals. So trying to find what the total is here. Let's see. You can kind of look around here. I try to look for something that has like a solid, you know, 60 or 40% thing. And then I move from there. Uh, not too much juice. Let's see. Okay. So over four and a half, let's see if we can find an under four and a half and under, uh, d -d 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 under five under that. Okay. Under three and a half, under four. Okay, let's try this under four. Under four, minus 110. We're just going to mess around with this. Oh, yeah, it's because Shota Imanaga is pitching tomorrow, so that's going to be great. Okay, so for the Cubs, in Shota, when Shota is pitching, they, uh, in their last 10 games, 78% uh, of the time, he has gone under this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two to the under. That's a really cool toggle that you can do here. This is making me really, really like this under. I go over to Bryce Wilson and we see what he's done. He's kind of 50, 50 on the whole deal. Um, another kind of element that I would add into this is I would look at how Milwaukee players are against left-handed batting. You see a lot of red there. This kind of gives me the idea that, you, um, you know, they're not really going to do a good job of scoring against the Cubs Cubs. I take a look at the right-handed hitting solid amount of red there. Uh, I don't really think that it's going to work out that well for them. We can look at how they've done against Bryce Wilson. Eh, it's kind of middling results, but right now this is definitely something that I'd want to look at and probably let's see how he's done actually uh, when he's at home, when he's at home. Oh, so here it is. Okay. When he's at home, which is something that's built around park dimensions, he is uh, two and one to the under. Okay. Uh, and the last time it looks like he just missed this under. So this under four, under four uh, is a bet that I think that we're going to want to take. Let me just see if we can get a good alt line here. The under, I mean, under three and a half is, is kind of fun too. Let's see. I mean, the hit rate's the exact same, right? So uh, let's kind of see. Let's see what happens with Shota. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Look at this. We found a plus EV bet for tomorrow. Um, play around with the alts. Take a look. Look at how pitchers are doing against guys. Um, but definitely play around with the toggling. Uh, for you know, in road starts for Shota, he is three and one to this under to this number. Uh, and Bryce Wilson, when he is at home, he is two and one to the under for this one. So we're gonna do under three and a half plus one twenty four. That is how you find a fun first five total bet. My name is Adam. Good luck with your bets.